Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from danstube.tv and if you're new around these parts then consider subscribing and tickling that notification bell to keep up to date with all of my future content. And on today's episode we are checking out the Oclu 4K action camera. Now does this thing beat out the GoPro? Is this a true GoPro competitor? Is it unique? Does it offer something special? Keep tuned and you'll find out. Now I'm a little late to the party as the Oclu has been out now for a few years. It has recently been marked down though on their website so I will have a link in the description below to check it out. It was originally $299, it's now only $199 so it could be a really good time to pick it up. The Oclu form factor actually opens up a lot of different opportunities as it can be mounted underneath a skateboard, it can be mounted nicely onto a helmet or onto the side of your car which you can do with a lot of different action cameras but having a flat flatter design actually means that you can mount it under surfaces that are relatively low to the ground or have a snug fit towards some other obstacle or object very close by. So really handy if you want to get nice tight shots and I also really wonder how this would go in the FPV drone racing and freestyle scene, whether this kind of form factor and design would fit snugly onto a drone. Now there are a lot of things to cover with this action camera and I'll try to cover as much as I can but I will have a link in the description below to check it out on their website so check that out to kind of get a full rundown of what this camera is capable of. So off the bat, it is a 4K camera that's capable of 30 frames per second. It can also shoot 1080p at 120 frames per second. Now it does have image stabilization, but that's only available at 1080p up to 60 frames per second. And even then, it's not the most reliable stabilization in my opinion. It's okay if it's mounted to something, but if you're just going to use it walking or mounted to some sort of pole, it doesn't really work fantastically well. But it's decent, it does an alright job. The 4K footage looks really nice, but it's unusable almost when you're walking and when you're trying to get action-y shots, because the stabilization isn't actually active at 4K. So that's a little bit of a bummer. It's okay, again, if it's mounted to something like a helmet or a chest mount or like some sort of head mount, whatever it may be that's mounted to something that's moving, a car, some sort of boat or bike. It does an alright job in those kind of situations, as you can see from some other videos online, but for some kind of everyday use, it's not fantastic with that stabilization, and the 4K30 just doesn't have stabilization, so it's almost unusable for those kind of situations. Now when it comes to the battery life and the process of charging this camera, the battery life is okay. I've probably got about 30 to 40 minutes of battery life. It does have an interchangeable 1000 milliamp hour battery so you can buy additional batteries which is always nice and the camera itself actually has this really cool magnetic charging process I love this process it's just so satisfying unfortunately if you lose that cable or the cable breaks or stops working you just can't charge the camera there's no alternative to charge it it has to be with that extremely unique cable so you would have to contact them directly to get that sorted out but overall the fact that it's an interchangeable battery and if you're careful with your cable it's a really nice charging experience I would have liked to have seen a little bit more battery life but 30 to 40 minutes is okay for most people now when it comes to the actual user experience like I mentioned briefly before using the application is pretty decent I've been quite impressed with how that all functions but when it comes to using the actual camera itself it's not a touchscreen and you have to navigate with all of the different buttons on the unit so that can feel a little bit cumbersome and a little out dated, especially when we're used to touchscreens and we're used to kind of one button mechanics. This is a little bit cumbersome and it gets a little bit annoying at times, but if you're willing to work around that, you can actually program different modes in to have some kind of quick flipping options or quick switching options. That works relatively well. I would also like to see the record button have a little bit more of a press to it. I know that sounds weird, but it just doesn't feel like you're pressing anything. And that can be, again, a little bit misleading because you have to constantly focus on, well, did it record? You know, the beep's not overly loud sometimes. So just in terms of the general overall experience, based on all the different action cameras that I've tested, it just feels like 
something could have been a little bit tighter there. It could just have a little bit more of a solid press and feel like an actual button instead of almost a touch pad that doesn't really give you any haptic feedback. So that would be nice to see and maybe an easier way to navigate the menu seeing as it's a little bit outdated to kind of use multiple buttons to change different modes. Now when it comes to the build quality of the camera it's definitely a robust camera with a nicely built body around the actual unit itself. So I love all the materials they've used here, lots of rubbers, lots of kind of hard plastic that work nicely and it's easy to kind of you know, flip out the battery and change the micro SDs and charge the device itself. So overall, it's quite a nice experience and it just feels really nice. It's a nicely built camera and having that screen as well on a different kind of position than other cameras, that's also a unique experience that you probably wouldn't think about until you've used the camera. The Oclu is a 12 megapixel camera. It's also water resistant down to one meter for a total of 30 minutes. You can then buy the additional case which can take it down to 50 meters, which is extremely impressive for people that want to go deep, deep, deep into the ocean. We also have the live cut feature, which is a unique standalone feature for the Oclu camera. And it basically means that you can keep the best moments and cut the rest. And you do that with a hotkey moment, basically. So if you film something and a skateboarder falls off, you just press the hotkey and it will delete that footage. And then you do the trick again. If it doesn't work, you delete it. And then if you like one, you keep it. And you don't have to worry about the other two shots that you've wasted your time on. You don't have to deal with them. You just focus on the one that you kept in the moment that is the actual shot you want so I love that super unique feature and it works really well when it comes to the video quality like I've briefly mentioned throughout the video I just wish it was a little bit more impressive the 4k footage looks quite nice but again if it's not a static shot or it's not mounted onto a vehicle or onto a helmet or something that's quite solid it does have a lot of movement and it isn't usable so that's a little bit annoying the 1080p footage is a different story the stabilization is decent but then the image quality doesn't really wow me so I'd like to see a bit of a combo there I'd like to see stabilization on the 4k so that I'd be relatively impressed um, but overall it is a decent action camera something that's very unique and if you do mount it to an FPV drone or to your helmet or to you know a boat or a kayak or whatever it may be then it will be a really decent action camera for those kind of situations if you just want it for the everyday kind of use you want to get some footage of you know your kids or maybe a family event or maybe something that you're getting up to you're going for a walk somewhere it's okay but you can definitely get better cameras on the market so anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out.